Kia guys, welcome back to the Black Jersey, it's your boy Max hosting the channel and the mighty Black Ferns have made it 3 from 3 with an awesome victory against the USA. President Biden will not be very happy since he is a rugby supporter and us Black Ferns fans, let's go World Cup up ahead. The first minute things start with a lot of tempo, the USA kick off and Adahiana Marino Tauhinu is right to kick off as the USA. USA collect her boot in touch. Just in the second minute, the Black Ferns win their line out and Ruahe Demant immediately makes a clean break, giving a brilliant pass to Renee Holmes, who sets up Aisha Leti Iinga for the opening try. Demant does miss the conversion, but after just two minutes, there's five points on the board. Surely after the second kickoff, though, the USA leaves space out wide. Renee Wycliffe drops Demant's cross kick, though. The USA are able to capitalise and they make 30 metres. Amy Duplessis does enter the ruck from offside so the USA are able to take the three after five minutes and uh, Aleph Kelter, the number 13, is their kicker for the first shot and uh, her penalty makes a scoreline a three to five losing margin for the USA so I thought, you know what, this is going to be a big high scoring game already after just five minutes and uh, just after the kickoff, the Black Ferns regather it and Lealani Parisi, the number three, makes a massive carry. Joanna Ngan Wu then makes a pick and go from the ruck and uh, she makes a clean break past the line before using her mitts to pass the offload allowing Arihiana Marino Tauhenu to score our second try Ruahe demands the Black Ferns captain she converts this time and the lead is now 12-3. to The USA do give a very good kick off in the 8th minute but Alana Bremner um, she drops it for the Black Ferns um, the referee subsequently penalises Lealani Parisi four times in a row which I I thought was pretty unfair. The third arm um, was incorrect because the USA was at fault for the scrum collapse. Um, after a third scrum reset, uh, Kate Zachary, the USA's number eight, she uh, attempts to pick and go but gets held up. The USA try to go wide to their number 10, Megan Foster, but she is knocking the ball on and bombs a bit of a try there. Uh, we see many missed opportunities for both teams from the 12th to 22nd minute, but after that, the Black Ferns begin attacking inside their own half and uh, thanks to the Bremner sisters and Lealani Parisi we get some massive carries forward before the offload game is unleashed to unleash uh, Kendra Reynolds she allows Leti Iinga to score her double through an awesome try assist uh, Demance does miss her third conversion attempt but the Black Ferns are now ahead by 17 to 3 a pretty nice winning margin by now in the 25th minute the USA do target the hooker at kickoff and Natalie Delamere knocks on the weather arm um, saw a bit of rain yet again so it would have been quite a tough debut for her out there the USA somehow transformed their scrum into a driving maul in the 27th minute and are able to win the scrum penalty and take the three uh, Megan Foster does come up for this kick and she uh, converts it to make it 6 to 17 for the USA they are only behind by 11 points now in the 30th minute Ruahe Demant's kick doesn't go 10 and uh, the USA capitalise off this and after a few scrums they're able to kick downfield Amy Duplessis knocks this one on they do get some hands going down the line after a few scrum resets but Charlotte Clapp the number 11 just receives a terrible pass this comes off her legs and straight into the hands of Renee Holmes who runs about 60 metres for her first ever try for the Black Ferns uh, Ruahe Demant though does have to come off for a bleeding nose and she ends up failing the HIA. Renee Holmes, though, steps up and she converts her own try. Very good for the fullback. Handling errors do let the Black Ferns down again, though. The USA make it to their 22 with some very creative attacking passions. They don't take the three after the advantage ends, though. They go to their strength, the scrum. They did very, very well there. They had a very good number one and a very good number three. Brilliant scrummages. This time, though, 
doesn't work. The Black Ferns are able to make it out, and Sylvia Brunt runs past the USA's 22 thanks to some awesome offloads and strong carries before Carly Waters is able to strip the ball and get the USA out of jail. A good performance from her in this match. Uh, the Black Ferns' attack is regenerated in the 39th minute, though, and they are able to get some pretty strong carries going. Rachel Johnson, the USA's number 7, is penalised for a second time, and uh, this allows for a Black Ferns drive a maul. Um, Marino Tohenu then gives an awesome pass off the maul to Sylvia Brunt, the 18-year-old, who runs in to score her first ever try for the Black Ferns. Um, Hazel Tubik's just come on. She does miss the conversion, so the uh, halftime score is 29-6. Um, at halftime, the hometown hero Crystal Murray comes on for um, her home fans in Northland, whereas 31-year-old Lucy Anderson comes on at number 18 for her debut. A very inspirational story just telling everyone don't give up on your dreams the USA have a pretty good attacking start to the half especially as a uh, Tubix cross kick attempt does get charged down by Rachel Johnson Post scrum, we have a breakaway by Kate Zachary. Once again, a very strong performance from her. Uh, the Black Ferns do brilliantly to shut her down, though, and uh, they begin generating some go forward thanks to um, Liana Mikaeli too, um, her older brother Marino plays for the Hollanders. Uh, she does knock on though. The USA do attack for a few phases until Renee Wycliffe makes a brilliant intercept. I was so frustrated because had the USA not been under advantage, she definitely would have scored. Um, the USA's attack in the 49th minute spoiled thanks to a Chelsea Bremner turnover though. The Black Ferns are able to make it to the USA's half. While under advantage, Tubic throws a stunning pass which sends Kendra Reynolds into a massive gap. The number 7 goes on to beat 4 defenders and makes a huge celebration after she scores. Tubic does convert this time and the scoreline is 36-6. Helps that it was under the post unlike her previous conversion which was from, um, from the side line sorry the USA's kickoff bounces into touch uh, Georgia Ponsonby does come on to give the Black Ferns a line inside their own half and this one works very well the kick downfield is knocked on by the USA um, they're able to get a turnover and kick downfield but the Black Ferns get a breakout run thanks to Aisha Leti Iyenga probably the player of the series at this point and uh, she allows Renee Whitcliffe to run make a clean break and get 40 metres um, Chelsea Semple who's just come off the bench is um, on and uh, runs a pretty good support line she attempts to get the one last offload away but uh, Rachel Johnson there again she knocks the ball on herself so the Black Ferns are the one with the scrum in the USA's half. After multiple scrum resets, the Black Ferns go wide. Adahiana Marino Tohinu, uh, she gets the ball off the base of the scrum and she just gives an awesome flick back to Aisha Leti Iyinga who runs in to get her hat trick. Tubic converts this time and the scoreline is 43-6. to A pretty massive margin with 20 minutes to go now. The USA um, do get a scrum inside the Black Ferns half in the 61st minute due to a Mika Ali 2 knock on. The reserve props though um, probably not as good to say the least. Um, the Black Ferns are able to win the scrum back and uh, Hazel Tubic makes a brilliant kick downfield that allows the Black Ferns to get a line out just outside the 22. Um, we do have quite a lot of set piece resets which was a bit annoying for the last uh, parts of the game. Um, in the um, 70th minute the line out is reset for I think the 5th time and uh, Aisha Leti Iyinga loses the ball behind herself trying to catch the ball mid air thanks to Tubic's cross kick. Um, the ref rules the ball knocked forward though so what we thought what was Renee Holmes' second try ends up getting disallowed. Um, Elif Kelter in the 74th minute then leads the charge for the USA. She makes some massive hits while she's carrying. And uh, as the USA run forward, Crystal Murray makes a pretty big tackle on uh, Georgia Paris Reading, their number 20. And uh, this is ruled a yellow card as, um, as uh, Paris Reading's head kind of like tilts down towards Murray's arm and uh, the Northland crowd no they did not like that one bro um they were pretty 
angry that Crystal Murray got yellow carded and put in the sin bin. Um, after four minutes of attacking by the USA in the 78th minute though, uh, the Black Ferns are able to get the ball running and uh, Chelsea Semple runs into a brilliant hole set up by Kendrick Coxedge who had just come on and uh, Semple sent Renee Holmes off on a 30 metre run before she just gave off the final pass to Renee Wycliffe. Renee Wycliffe scores thanks to Renee Holmes' try assist and Hazel Chubik converts the try to make the final score 50 to 6. So the Black Ferns got a pretty big winning margin this time around. Um, one thing though, I was once again very disappointed by the crowd. The Super Rugby final starts one hour after I'm recording this. So guys, you had time to come along and watch the Black Ferns before the Super Rugby final. So um, yeah, that was pretty disappointing for me to see. I was also disappointed to see the USA were kneeling for their national anthem in comparison to the Black Ferns who stood up tall, strong and proud of their country. There was nothing <laughs> bad at all to say about how the Black Ferns just showed all this pride for their country. That Haka too. Awesome. So much passion. What a pre-match entertainment piece by that hacker. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Much appreciated. If you're keen to support the Black Juicy elsewhere, you can check me out on Instagram, check me out on Twitter, and um, as I showed before in the video, a big thank you to my patrons. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and like this video. Thank you so much, guys. It's your boy, Max, and I'm signing out.